Hello friends, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we'll discuss a topic of Code Igniter 4 and that is how to work with custom helper. By the help of this video, we'll understand the complete demonstration and uses of creating custom helpers inside a Code Igniter 4 application. Back to editor. So first thing first, whenever if we want to create any custom helpers, we need to store inside app and inside helpers folder. But before creating any helpers for this application, first we need to understand that what is a helper. So in short, helpers are those functions inside any application. By the help of that, we can complete a specific task. For example, let's say that we have a function. By the help of that function, we can convert a complete string value into lowercase. So that function which converts a complete string into lowercase, that function will known as a helper function. So inside this video, we'll create few helper functions and see that how they work. So I will go inside helpers folder. We can see it is empty, but we'll create a helper file inside this folder. So to create a helper inside Code Igniter 4, we have a standard syntax that we need to follow while working with that. So what is that syntax? If I go inside this slide, let's say that I am interested to create any custom helper for our Code Igniter 4 application. So to create a custom helper, let's say that custom underscore helper.php. So here, this is the file that we need to create inside our folder. So here, custom will be the name of the helper and underscore helper will be the suffix that we need to add with the file name. If I back to editor, so inside this folder, we need to create a custom helper file for this application. Now as we know all about the naming standards, so here, I will go inside this folder. Let's add a new file here and let's call it as custom which is the name of helper file and here underscore helper which is the suffix it means the standard suffix we need to add which each custom helper what will create and finally dot php next inside this custom helper file we need to define some standalone functions so that by the help of those functions we can complete a specific task for example let's say that i will define a function which removes let's white space characters so here let's if function exists. First of all, I will check that if any function I will define inside this file will not exist inside this file again. So here, let's say function not exist and the function let's say that remove white space characters. And here, if function does not exist inside this file, then we need to define that. So go inside this if block and let's say function remove white space characters and inside this function we will receive a string value and here we have some spelling mistake we will receive a string value. So once we get a string value inside this function first of all we need to check or let's say we need to find white space characters and remove that. So we'll do this functionality by the help of a PHP function called string replace. So here, let's output equals to str underscore replace. Look at IntelliSense. First, we need to pass the search character. So we want to search for white space characters. So here, this is to search white space characters. In the next value, look at IntelliSense. We need to pass our replaced character. So let's say that I want means I simply want to remove all white space characters. So simply double quotes inside third value means subject it means from where we want to remove. So here inside this function as you can see that we are receiving a string value. So from this string value we want to remove that. So I will copy and put it here inside this third value. And finally let's return output. Let's save all these changes of this custom helper file. Now next, we need to use this custom helper inside anywhere inside this application. So I will use it inside a controller file. Go to controllers and here we have home.php. 
which is a default controller generated inside this application. But I will create a new controller file for this application. Back to terminal, we'll use PHP Spark CLI. So here, if I type PHP Spark, it will provide us a generator section. Inside generator section, we should see a command called make controller. And here is the command panel. So inside this command panel, we can see inside generators, here we have a command called make controller. Look at here, single line description, it generates a new controller file. So I will use that PHP Spark make controller and let's say that I want to create site controller.php file. So site will be the name of the controller file and let's add suffix. It means automatically it will add controller as the component title with the file name. Press enter. Now we can see that site controller.php file has been created inside controllers folder. Back to editor, go inside controllers folder and here is the file. Now in this file, we want to use this helper function what we have created. Back to controller file. So we have two options to use this helper function inside anywhere inside application. So if we want to use inside any of the controllers like inside of this controllers folder, we need to load inside this base controller. Because base controller is the parent controller of every controllers what we can create inside this folder. If we go inside this site controller, look at here, extends base controller, which means that it is a parent controller. Go to home.php, base controller, which is a parent controller. So if we want specifically for site controller, we can load directly inside this file about this helper. Or if we want to use this helper function inside any of the controllers, so the best option is to load inside base controller. And inside base controller, we can load here inside this helpers array. So for example, this is the helper function. Now this is the helper file which we want to use inside any of the controller files. Go inside base controller, inside this helpers array, just pass the name of the controller file and which will be custom. All done. And finally, we can use the functions what basically it provides inside any of the controller files. But suppose if we want to use this helper function only inside the site controller, so instead of loading globally by the help of this base controller, what I will do, I will go inside the site controller. Let's define a construct function here. So public function construct and inside this construct function, I will use a helper function called helper and inside this helper, we need to pass, look at here, file names. So here we have a single file that is custom helper. Let's define an array and inside here, let's call it as custom. All we have done, the loading process of this helper inside the site controller. Now we can use the functions what basically it provides inside anywhere inside the site controller.php file. So go inside this index, index method and here, let's define a string value and I am passing this string value. Now this time, as per expectation, as we know that once we pass this string value to this function, it will return the output as something like this. Online web tutor means there will not be any white space characters. But let's see that. So echo, I will copy the function name called remove white space characters. And here, inside this, I will pass this string value. Now let's go inside our routes.php and create a route for this index method. Config. Here we have routes.php. Scroll down. So here and let's say that routes. I will define by using get method. And let's say remove space. And it will call site controller and from site controller it will call index method save these changes back to terminal let's start development server so php spark serve now as you can see that development server started so to access application we need to open this url so let's say that copy link back to browser open a new tab 
This is the URL localhost 8080 port. If I go inside the routes.php, let's copy remove hyphen space. I will copy that back to browser and after project URL, if I type remove hyphen space, now as you can see that we are getting the same output what we expected. So here, the function what we had created inside our custom helper now is working fine. So as I told you inside its definition that helper functions are those functions which basically created to complete a specific task. For example, this is the function we had created to remove white space characters. Now let's define another function by the help of that what I will do, I will instead of removing white space characters, I will just replace white space characters with hyphen value and also the complete string value will convert into lowercase. Back to editor, here let's say if function exists, first of all I will check that the function what we are defining will not exist inside this file. So let's replace, this is the function name what will create replace white space with hyphen. So I will copy the function name and this function will not exist. So go inside this if block, let's say function, this is the function name, it will receive a string value so that it will work on that and here let's output equals to first of all we want to do all about search and replace so str underscore replace it will find all about white space characters and then it will actually replace with hyphen value and in a third way to pass subject it means our original string value so here we have a string so finally, by the help of this line of code, what we are doing, from this string value, we are searching for a space characters and replacing with hyphen value. And finally also we want that the value should be converted into lowercase. So here, let's return str to lower, this is another php function and inside this, we are just passing our output value. So already we have loaded this helper file inside the site controller. So we can use that directly here. So let's say that I'm go and comment that line. It's echo. Replace white space with hyphen. This is the function name. Pasting it here. And I will passing our string value. Save all these changes. Back to browser. Go and reload. Now we can see that. We have removed our white space characters with hyphen value and also the string is now in lowercase. So successfully, this is all about the idea that how to create a custom helper function and a helper file inside a code writer for application. So you can define as per your need inside any of the means custom helper files and load inside anywhere inside application. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.